today I'm going to show you guys what to do when you have a puppy that has a huge swollen eye, most likely filled with pus. This is called neonatal conjunctivitis, and you want to treat this right away because the puppy can go blind. Stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss this episode of Breeders Hacks. <laughs> What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So today, we're talking about neonatal conjunctivitis. If you see a puppy that has a large swollen eye, um, it looks like it's popping out of its head. Um, even if you see a little bit of pus coming out of the corner of the eye, this is neonatal conjunctivitis, and it's usually bacteria that got into the eye. Um, as we know, puppies under two weeks generally have their eyes closed. They're born with their eyes closed. So sometimes what can happen, no matter how sanitary you keep things, they can get bacteria behind the eye. And we have to treat this quick, fast, and in a hurry, because if we don't, the puppy can actually lose the eye and become blind. So luckily, this is something that you can easily treat and take care of at home. Um, if you don't feel confident with treating this, then I highly recommend you see your vet and get your, your vet's opinion on this or have them take care of it. But this is something that we had here, could easily treat at home. I've dealt with plenty of puppies with this, so I was like, all right, let's go ahead and just take care of this puppy real quick. So long story short, this puppy is seven days old, and if we didn't treat this, the puppy would lose its eye. So you're only going to need a couple of things. You're going to need some teramycin. That's the antibiotic that we put into the eye to go ahead and treat it get rid of the bacteria and help the puppy get better. You're gonna maybe need like a rag or some paper towels, really damp with some warm water. We're gonna be doing warm compresses. And the last thing that you may need is some sterilized tools so that then you can help try to pry the eye open. That's literally all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be grabbing the puppy and we're going to use warm compresses essentially to warm up the eye to get it loosened up so that we can open the eye we have to manually open the eye because as i said puppies eyes are born closed and it's it's a defense mechanism and it's to protect the eye but because there is a bacterial infection within the eye there's pus we need to open it so that we can go ahead and put the antibiotics in and these antibiotics teramycin you can easily get over the counter um, I'm gonna put the link down in the description as to where you can buy the antibiotics from you can get it over the counter you don't need a vet's prescription so as I said, we're just gonna continue to do warm compresses as you can see I'm doing in the video. And literally, we're just trying to loosen that eye open so that we can get all the pus out and we can start putting the teramycin over the eye. Like I said, you can easily do this at home. Now, it does take some time. It's not something you're gonna do one, two, three and the eye's gonna pop right open. Um, oftentimes, maybe in one of the corners of the eye, it may already be a little loosened up and open because there's so much pressure from the pus and you might even see some of the pus coming out of the eye, we wanna get the entire eye open. So it may take, this video took me a few hours. So what we started doing is like I said, we just kept doing warm compresses, kept doing warm compresses. And the key thing that you also wanna be mindful of is allowing the puppies to have a break. Can't sit there for an hour on end trying to open up the puppy's eye. The puppy needs to stop, needs to be able to take a, a nap, sleep, eat. It's very young, very weak. We don't want to overexert the puppy. So I do it in increments of maybe like 20 minutes. Um, every few feedings, I would have grabbed the puppy and just work the eye and try to loosen up the eye so that we could get the pus out of the eye and we can put the antibiotics on the eye. It's as easy as that. So, but you do need to practice patience because like I said, you may not get on the first try, you may not get on the second try, but maybe the third, fourth, whatever the case may be, you'll eventually get that eye open and you're just gonna keep working it, keep working it. So if the warm compresses aren't working, what you can do is grab some sterilized tools. Now you wanna be careful because you don't wanna use, I, I did see like someone use a razor blade. You don't wanna use something so sharp to the point that you could potentially blind the puppy because then this defeats the purpose. But um, if you do use something sterilized like I'm using here in the video, you also do have a little bit of wiggle room because the eye is completely covered with pus. So even if something does break through, it's going to come into contact with the pus before it does with the eye. But yet again, you don't want to take that risk of, in my opinion, using like a blade or something like that. 
get you one of these kits that you can easily buy on Amazon. I've dealt with this so many times now that, like I said, this is pretty much my go-to method every single time. Works like a charm. You'll find many, plenty of other videos showing the results of this same method. So anyway, guys, I hope this information is helpful. I hope it's useful. When you see the eye blown up like that, don't freak out. It's something you can easily do at home. Just make sure you have teramycin on standby. Um, I always have a box on standby, it's super cheap. Like I said, I put the link in the description. So just work that eye open, use the warm compresses, get that pus out, put the antibiotics in, and in a few days, the puppy will be perfectly fine. And you save the puppy's eye. Because if you left it, even if you left it over the weekend and you went to go to the vet the next, you know, during the week, puppy, the infection will just get worse. So I hope this information is helpful, guys. Um, I hope it's useful. One other little gem that I didn't get to mention, actually, is you could also give the puppy some Clavamox because that helps overall. It's a general antibiotic that helps fight infections. So if you could get some Clavamox on your hands, that'll help as well. But the Teramycin, this should do more than enough. So, all right, guys, as always, appreciate you guys tapping into the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. All right, guys.